The University of Missouri system, including its four campuses, the health system, and MU Extension, is governed by the University of Missouri Board of Curators. This volunteer board, comprised of nine voting members and a student representative, is appointed by the governor and confirmed by the Senate. The board has a secretary to support its activities. While the board delegates decision-making authority to university leadership, governing responsibility always resides with the curators who have the authority to change any decision at any time. The day-to-day -day management of the collective UM System Enterprise is led by a president who reports to the Board of Curators. The UM System President serves as the Chief Executive Officer, managing the overall university enterprise and is accountable to the Board on all matters. Under the President's direction is an executive team referred to as the General Officers, as well as a Chief of Staff and a Chief Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Officer. The General Officers, comprised of Vice Presidents and the Chancellors of the four campuses, must constitute a strong management team capable of discussing important issues, weighing alternatives, and assisting the President in presenting unified recommendations to the Board, the University community, and the public. As a group, they seek opportunities to lead their respective areas more efficiently and effectively for a university-wide benefit. The vice presidents are sought as advisors and manage their respective offices to provide staff support to the president at the administrative level. These respective vice presidencies include the vice president for academic affairs, research, and economic development enhances academic programs and promotes research and economic development activities. The Vice President of Finance maximizes the financial stability and physical capacity of the university. Under the finance umbrella, there is a Chief Audit Executive. Because of its unique role managing internal audit and consulting services, this position reports directly to the Audit Committee of the Board of Curators as well as to the Vice President of Finance. The Vice President for Human Resources leads centralized HR services for all employees and retirees. The Vice President for Information Technology provides the technology infrastructure for the university. The Vice President for University Relations serves as the central communications and advocacy arm of the university. The University General Council provides all legal services to the university, including the Board of Curators. Because of this unique role, this General Council is appointed by the Board. The Chancellors are the Chief Academic and Administrative Officers responsible for providing leadership and management on their individual campuses. The Chancellors ensure that student services and support are provided to create exceptional learning environments. In addition, they are responsible for campus advancement programs and private fundraising. Also reporting to the President is a Chief of Staff who serves as an advisor and aide to the President, as well as the liaison between the Office of the President and the University's General Officers and Board of Curators. And a Chief Diversity Officer who serves as an advisor to the President and General Officers to implement diversity efforts with leaders across the university system, oversee collaborative projects with the four campuses and healthcare, and develop programs to affect lasting institutional changes. In managing the day-to-day -day operations of the university, whether tending to academic or business affairs, leaders in positions to make decisions should keep foremost in their minds the reason for the existence of the university. The University of Missouri system touches every person in the state every day and is a driving force in the economic health and well-being of Missouri. Learn more about our statewide reach at www.umsystem.edu.